Welcome to the complete beginner's guide for ShareSite to track all of your investments together in one place. I'm going to show you how I use the free version of ShareSite to track all of my shares, ETFs, property, crypto, and more in one portfolio that is safe to use online, handles all of the complex tax calculations for my annual tax return with a click of one button, tracks investments on more than 40 listed exchanges across the world, can be integrated with more than 140 stockbrokers globally, automatically updates for all listed investment performance, reports in multiple currencies, does not require advanced spreadsheet skills to use and operate, and best of all, it's free, forever. ShareSite is the best way that I've personally found to reliably track all of my investment portfolio automatically in one location. I've been using this free tool for over four years now, and I want to show you how I get the most out of it. You can get started setting up your free ShareSite account by using a link on your screen now. I've also listed the link in the description of this video below too, if you just want to click on it. This is an affiliate link, and if you choose to use it, then you'll get the first four months free if you later decide to upgrade to a paid plan. However, you don't need to upgrade to a paid ShareSite account or provide any billing details to set up a free account. And I'll be focusing on the free ShareSite account in this video. Remember, you can use the timestamps listed in the video description below to jump between different sections as much as you like. If I talk too slow, you can also speed things up by changing the playback speed of the video here. Okay, once you log into ShareSite, you will be asked to create a portfolio. I'm going to name this portfolio Shares, which is very original. I'm going to select Australian resident. You can select any country in the world to be a resident of for tax and it will work in ShareSite. You can select any country in the world and it will work in ShareSite. Selecting a country of tax residence is important to do correctly so that the important tax reports that ShareSite creates are customized for your local tax requirements. As I selected Australia as my country of tax residence, it automatically defaults to the financial year ending on June 30th which is the correct tax year end date for me. But I can override that to be whatever I want at any point in time. You can change tax residency at any time also, which is great if you ever relocate to another country. I keep the performance calculation method to simple as that's good enough for me. You can switch to compound if you find that more useful when reviewing the investment performance. I can also now pick my tax entity type relevant for Australia, which also customizes those useful tax reports later on. I will pick individual tax type as I own these investments personally in my own name. Now click create portfolio and I'm on my way to setting up my free portfolio. Now that your portfolio is set up, you will be taken to this screen here, giving you three options to add details of your current portfolio balance if you already own investments. The first option I will show is for those that don't already maintain an Excel tracker or another online tool to track asset buys and sells. This method shows you how to download a report directly from your broker in the required format that ShareSite accepts for listed investments like shares and ETFs. ShareSite allows you to import a CSV file generated by over 130 global online brokers without having to share passwords and login details, keeping you safe online. ShareSite currently supports over 40 stock exchanges, meaning data such as price, dividends and corporate actions for holdings in your portfolio will update automatically, so you most likely can automate all of your domestic and international investments in real time. The import of data works by you clicking on Import Broker here and then in this screen, searching for your broker and obtaining the instructions to download a report summarizing your transactions in the format ShareSite is set up to use. The instructions may vary slightly by broker, but ShareSite gives you specific instructions tailor-made. Not needing to share my online broker passwords to make this import work is one of my favorite reasons for using ShareSite, as I really dislike sharing passwords and other logging details to online websites. I was initially hesitant to use ShareSite until I learned how this automatic import works, as I don't trust apps that require you to share any private information at all. In my case, my broker is Comsec, and when I select Comsec, it gives me directions here to follow to download my transaction history. Once I download the report, I now just need to upload the data into ShareSite in this field here, and then it is done. Easy. Now that you have opening balances uploaded, you can see my share portfolio summarized neatly inside ShareSite in this portfolio overview page here. Currently it is organized by market, but you can change that to sector, industry, customize group names, and more. You can see I've listed investments in Australia, the United States, New Zealand, and even more investments on other exchanges. 
ShareSite also includes dividend income and capital gains when measuring performance, which is calculated and updated automatically every few minutes. The total return is also calculated automatically too, which is capital gains plus dividend income, which is very handy for comparison as dividends are often forgot when looking at total performance. The second option for adding opening balances of listed shares and ETFs is using my own customized CSV upload template. The upload method is great if you have kept your own records in another online tracker or Excel file, or if your broker is not one of the 130 supported by ShareSite. I personally use this method for my listed investments as I owned many before setting up ShareSite and I had entered into DRPs which are not recorded in my broker's online report. To upload the CSV file, you need to download the CSV template saved here on this screen and then open it in your chosen spreadsheet app. When you open the CSV file template, you can see it includes an example of data formatted correctly in the correct field that you can use as a guide. Go ahead and fill in a template and save it on your own drive. Now, once the CSV file is completed and saved, you just need to upload this data into ShareSite and select Add Opening Balances here, and then click to continue to upload the data. Note that there is no private data required to add your opening balances to your free ShareSite portfolio, which is great for protecting your privacy. Once you upload your data and continue, you will be taken to the next screen where ShareSite checks your data. Now click to continue. Sometimes you will get an error message that one of the fields wasn't filled in correctly or isn't formatted correctly, and it will be highlighted in red like this. You can manually override your data to correct it and then continue once fixed. However, if you have lots of the same error messages, it's best to cancel the upload and fix the upload file template and then re-upload it into ShareSite. Click through to continue and if there are no error messages, your portfolio will be created showing the opening balance position of your investments in this screen. So far, we've focused on adding assets that are listed on stock markets around the globe. But what about unlisted assets like property and cryptocurrencies, not on exchanges? ShareSite allows you to add assets other than the shares and ETFs, so you can see your total portfolio in one place and still use many of its features. To add unlisted investments to ShareSite, you will need to click on Add New Holding and manually add a trade. Alternatively, if you are still on this screen after creating your first portfolio, you can click this button too. Both ways will take you to this screen here to manually update your holdings. Let's start with adding an unlisted residential property. Like many investors, your first asset may have been residential property and you may have added listed investments along the way. ShareSite allows you to track all of your assets, which is handy for considering asset diversification and risk profile. In the Add Manual Trade screen, click on the Add a Custom Investment button to go to a separate screen. In the Investment Code, you can add anything you like. I'll just add the number 1. In the Investment Name field underneath, I'll add the street number and address for easy identification. In the Investment Description drop-down menu, I will select Property Fund. I know my direct ownership of property is not really a property fund, but this is the closest match in ShareSite and the field must have something selected. In country, you just list the location of the property and for me, it is Australia. Then just press create custom investment to finish. Now we have to complete the screen to fill in the purchase details. So I'll add the trade date or settlement date. The trade type is a buy. The quantity will be one as in one property. Then in the unit share price, I put the full purchase price. If you wanted to include stamp duty and other transaction costs, you can either add it in the unit share price or enter in the brokerage fees section, which will both add to the cost of the asset for measuring performance. If you purchased in a different currency, you can enter these details in the original currency and ShareSite will calculate the foreign exchange impact too. Now press save trade and that's it. Now, if you want to update the market value of your property, then it must be done manually. I update the market value of my property annually based on what the market has done in the past 12 months. And sometimes I use a real estate agent to provide a better estimate. To add a market value estimate, I can press the enter price button on the side right here. In this screen, I can simply add the date and the price in the section here and then press save price. Simple. If you want to modify the price, just press Manage Price and then you can edit the entry you just added. The only problem with custom assets like residential property is that rental income and expenses are not automatically updated and tracked in ShareSite as there is no way for ShareSite to access any data online, unlike listed investments. However, you can manually add net rental income by clicking on the Enter a Dividend button when in the Custom Asset 
and then adding the rental income for either the year, the month, the week, or as frequent or infrequent as you like. I also like to click not taxable so it doesn't interfere with the automatic tax reporting I will show you a little later in this video. The only issue with manual recording of income is you can't enter any negative income in ShareSite in this section, which is common with property purchased with a loan where the interest expense provides a negative return overall. You may be best just leaving it as zero if there is a loss. Now click save new payment and it is saved. I personally like adding net rental income in ShareSite so I can see the total return on the property investment which is capital gains plus income. Property investors often only look at the capital gain when looking at investment performance which can be misleading if you have a steady rental income stream after expenses as well. The other custom asset that many people have is cryptocurrencies and ShareSite can allow you to include this too. The big difference with this custom asset is ShareSite updates the market value and foreign currency conversion automatically for the major crypto coins. This is great if you want a live valuation of all of the assets of shares, ETFs, property and crypto all in one place. In the add manual trade screen, type in the crypto code you own. I have listed the common crypto codes on the screen now that ShareSite currently supports with live valuations. You can see that Bitcoin has a code called XBT. .fx, and using the correct code will ensure the market valuation is updated automatically. You can still add coins not shown here, but the valuation will not be automatically updated by ShareSite. Then add the trade date, then ensure trade type is buy, then add the quantity you bought. Now with this section I can add the FX rate that I bought the crypto for and the conversion of AUD to Bitcoin or USD to Bitcoin or any other currency that you may have used. Then add the commission cost in the brokerage fee section here. Now press save trade. If you're holding a cash balance in your brokerage account then you can also add this to your portfolio. This is great to see all of your defensive holdings in one place. To add your cash balance click the add cash account button here. You have two options which are manual or zero. If you use zero software then you can link it to ShareSite and use some of the automation features. As I personally do not use zero software, I'm just going to stick with manual balances. So I'll add a cash account by giving it a name like cash, or you could add the ending three digits of the account number if you have multiple accounts. You can also add cash in any currency here, which is great for automatically revaluing your cash to the portfolio currency you chose in the initial portfolio setup. Click create new cash account. To add the closing cash account balance, click on add transaction. Here you can enter the transaction type where you can put in any transaction type in manually, the transaction date, balance and description. I don't like adding much detail here as it is very manual work since I don't use zero. So I just add the closing balance of my cash account every now and then when I feel like it or when something significant happens. Adding cash accounts is really just making sure the balance is shown as part of my portfolio. Now if you're using borrowed money to invest as part of your investment strategy, there is a way to add the loan balance to your portfolio in ShareSite too. To add a loan amount, I click on the Add Cash Account button here again. I will add a cash account by giving it a name like Loan, Margin Account or Borrowings. Or you could add the ending three digits of the account number if you have multiple loan accounts. You can also add any currency here. Click Create New Cash Account. To add the closing cash account balance, click on Add Transactions. Here you can enter the transaction type where you can put any transaction type in manually, the transaction date, balance and description. Now for a borrowed amount you can simply add a negative sign to the balance you manually add in. Adding the loan amount balance is really just making sure the balance is shown as part of my portfolio and I can see the net value of my portfolio including loans. This is effectively calculating my net worth or equity I own in my portfolio which is very handy. ShareSite will show borrowings or loans as negative amounts in the cash category of the overview report and graph by default. You can customize account groups if you want the loan to be allocated to a specific group like adding a margin loan to your share account or investment loan against your unlisted property investment. I will show you how to set up custom groups later in this video. If you're liking this video so far, could you please do me a big favor and press the like button to show your support. It really helps support my channel and encourages me to make more content to help you. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments section below. 
So now that you've got all of the opening balances of your investments in ShareSite, how do you get all of the new buys and sells and income and tax adjustments updated automatically? The answer is you can set up ShareSite to record all of your buying and selling activity for listed investments to be updated automatically. To do this, click on settings at the top of the page here, then go to trade confirmation emails. In this screen, ShareSite has issued you a unique email address. Simply press the copy email address button. Now all you need to do is add this email address to the email contact details that you maintain with your personal broker account with. I did this with my Comset broker account in my personal name and it worked well, although I did have to answer a few security questions to update the email address. When your listed investments pay dividends or distributions to you through the year, ShareSite will automatically add them to the income section for all listed investments recorded in your portfolio setup. Since listed investments pay out distributions that are publicly available information, ShareSite can use this data to calculate what you should be paid based on the number of shares or units you owned at the cutoff payment date for each investment. All you need to do is go into each record of payment for each investment after a payment is announced by clicking the edit button here and then pressing confirm and continue if the amount is correct. ShareSite also marks when a new payment has been added with this little symbol here and once you have pressed the confirm button it disappears. It is good to check periodically for new payments to check the amount is correct and what has been deposited into your bank account or added to your number of shares through a DRP or dividend reinvestment plan. Also, different types of income may have different categories or tax treatments. And if that is relevant to your investment, then ShareSite will record these different types and apply their correct tax treatment to your investment automatically. This is the most popular feature of ShareSite as filing your tax return with investment income is made so much easier with this annual tax report. In each income payment, you will note that you also have the option of selecting the dividend reinvestment option here. If you are registered in a dividend reinvestment plan, or DRP, and you have selected this in ShareSite, it will automatically update the number of shares or units has added to your balance of shares. So your share or unit balance should stay up to date for DRPs with the share registry balance. Note that your broker reports do not include DRP acquisitions and prices. So their reports may be different. This is another great feature as you can maintain a record of the cost of your investments for DRPs to ensure you don't pay any more capital gains tax than you need to when you eventually sell as the cost of your acquisitions is recorded accurately. The automization features of ShareSite come in handy at tax time as an accurate record of every dividend and distribution from your listed reports are captured in this easy to read taxable income report. If you have set up your portfolio in ShareSite at the beginning with the correct user tax type for the country you are living in, then preparing your tax return will be much easier. Currently ShareSite has set up this very detailed reporting for a select few countries, but they assure me they are working to add more countries to the list. The countries that have customized tax reporting are Australia, New Zealand and Canada. Additionally, if you have income from a listed investment that includes capital returns or capital gains such as ETFs, then ShareSite will adjust your cost base and record the capital gains in the separate capital gains tax report. The Realized Capital Gains Report is also a great tax management tool which lets you record and apply carry forward capital losses to optimize which shares to sell for a partial investment sale and apply capital gains discounts when applicable for your tax types. This of course depends on the tax rules of the portfolio location you have set up ShareSite for. In regards to unlisted investments, the tax report will not always automatically update and you'll need to record the income and tax type manually for it to be included in these reports. There is also another tax report to show unrealized capital gains tax in the paid subscription mode, which allows you to see the capital gains tax payable before you sell to help decide which investment to sell to ensure you are maximizing your after-tax return. It is a handy report, but is not that important to me personally as I rarely ever sell. ShareSite is also excellent for measuring performance with many useful insightful reports. Starting with this handy overview page, you can see the performance of your entire portfolio tracking performance of both capital gains and dividends. As income from listed investments is added automatically, you will instantly see your total return updated. The filtering also allows measurement of different groups of your investments and over many different time periods set by you, which is useful for comparing performance for both the long-term investments and short-term trading. But the overview page is only the beginning of the advanced reporting inside ShareSite. 
If you go into the report section here, you will find a list of reports offering new insights. My favorite report is the diversity report, and it is useful if you're concerned about diversification of assets. When I select this report, you can see it creates the pie graph grouping my investments into categories. I can change categories here into markets, currencies, sectors, and countries, among others. However, I prefer to group my investments into custom groups as the standard grouping doesn't work that well with my custom assets and reliance on ETFs. To create custom groups, you will need to click on custom group settings here to get to this menu screen. Once in this screen, you'll see all of your investments on the left hand side here. Click on the Create New Category button here, and a new group will be created here on the right hand side. Click on the heading name here, and give this group a name that means something to you. I will call this group Shares Domestic, and I will add all of my Australian listed equities underneath by dragging and dropping. I will then repeat the step for International Shares, Property and Crypto. Once all custom groups are created, go back to your diversity report, or any other report and change the group setting to custom. The report will now show your investment with the custom category names that suit you. You can update custom groups to add or delete as much as you like. The other performance report that I like using in ShareSite is the contribution analysis report, which shows how each holding or asset allocations have contributed to the overall portfolio performance. In this report, you can see international shares have had a significant contribution to my share portfolio performance for this short time period. This is great to see how each group in my portfolio has contributed to my investment success and also show where I need to focus my portfolio rebalancing efforts in the future. The multi-currency report is another handy report in ShareSite if you trade in overseas investments. It compares the values of each holding by investment type, country or market over any period or currency and is good for managing currency risk. All of the features I've shown you so far are in the free version, and as you can see, it is absolutely fantastic and very powerful, with minimal commitment required by you. So what are you missing out for from a paid account? Well, for most small or first-time investors, you're not missing out on much, and it is a great free tool to get started with and learn more about managing your in-share investment portfolio and unlisted investments. However, having only one portfolio in the free version with a maximum of 10 holdings can become challenging as you invest longer and begin holding investments in other names like a spouse, a child, retirement accounts, companies, and trust accounts. Investments in different account names would be considered a separate portfolio as they each have a separate tax treatment and rules and the tax reporting and performance can only be separated if they are recorded in their own separate portfolio. ShareSite allows you to create multiple portfolios in the paid for subscriptions under the same login with numbers capped depending on which plan you purchase. For each portfolio you get the benefits of running individual tax reports which is handy at tax time when your tax returns are due and can be worth it for this reason alone. In the paid for plan all you need to do is create a new portfolio here and give it a name. You can switch between each portfolio by clicking any one at any time. For each portfolio you will need to add opening balances like I have shown earlier in this video. You will need to set up each separate brokerage account to have the unique email address for the relevant portfolio created in ShareSite. This will ensure each portfolio is also updated automatically for new trades if they have listed investments. The other benefit of having multiple portfolios in a paid for subscription with ShareSite is that you can consolidate all of the individual portfolios in different names all together so you can track total performance all at once. This means that you can run a consolidated report for all the advanced reports, like the diversity report, so you can see how diversified all of your investments across all portfolios added together perform, just like this. This can be very handy if you have different investment strategies for different account portfolios, but you still want to maintain an adequate diversification. For example, with my retirement accounts, I invest for the very long term. So I'm a very aggressive with these investments compared to other investments in my name, which I plan on accessing in a shorter time frame, like 10 to 20 years. I still like ensuring I have adequate diversification overall to manage risk, and this consolidated portfolio tool and its reports help me plan for portfolio rebalancing at the top level instead of individual portfolios to help me minimize my capital gains tax if I need to sell. If you're interested in upgrading to get these features from ShareSite, then remember you can get the first four months free if you use the link appearing on your screen now. 
which can also be found in the description of this video below. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite feature in ShareSite is, and remember to hit the like button. You will probably find the video on the screen helpful to watch next, and also this one about calculating 20 years of DRPs on one investment using ShareSite to help me calculate my capital gains tax bill.